Carl in Chicago writes to me, Paul, is there any such thing as sharpening or clarifying software for digital audio that is comparable in concept to what most photo editing software packages include for digital photographs? I have a number of CDs and essay CDs of some wonderful performances, mostly orchestral, that sound mushy or muddy. They lack clarity or definition, which spoils the listening experience. I wonder if some of the conceptual approaches applied to sharpening digital photos might also be applicable to the cleaning up of audio files that lack clarity and definition. Yeah. Carl, I think that is uh, a lovely idea. I, I really, I like it. I don't know that that exists, but it would be cool if it does. One, one of the things, I do a lot of Photoshop work and Lightroom, the, the Adobe products, and one of the, uh, the filters they have on there is the dehazing filter. And I'm not exactly sure what it does, but on many outdoor photographs, it gets rid of, I think it gets rid of the ultraviolet. But somehow, it just, photographs come out and there's a clarity to them that's just amazing. And wouldn't that be a hoot to have that for an audio system? I don't know how one would pull that off because most, I think, of what you're hearing is a combination of recordings and system. So I get complaints from people like Carl quite a lot. And the one thing I've noticed in the few times I've been able to go hear their systems or to really dig down into what's going on is that it's either a combination of setup or equipment quality, okay? Now, my speakers, the FR30s or any of the speakers that I've had over the years are really good speakers, Magna Planers, Infinity IRS 5s, and now the FR30s. And those speakers have a quality that I don't think that many people are aware actually exists. And that quality is that even on a bad recording, even on a kind of a poor recording, yes, you hear it's a poor recording, but you don't get that grungy haze sort of thing that, that Carl is referring to, that muddiness, that, that um, mishigas, the, you know, the, the slop in between, kind of hard to describe. Some of that is going to be your electronics. Some of that's going to be the speakers. Some of that's going to be set up. And you can optimize systems to where even the worst recordings are more listenable than not. Would it be great to have a filter? Oh, gosh, yeah. I think, you know, if anybody knows how to come up with something like that, I think that'd be great. But, Carl, honestly, I think you could probably get a 50% improvement by really looking, seeing what your system is. If you think you have great electronics and speakers, then look to set up. If you need to redo all of it, start looking at what elements within the system might serve you best. And feel free to, to text, not text me, but uh, email me, paul at psaudio.com, and I'll do what I can to help. Okay? So, Great idea, and if anybody finds one of those filters, <laughs> you let me know. Otherwise, I think you can make some headway. All right. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bye.